8.30 right now, and our developing story is the big rig accident that has shut down Sir Francis Drake in Marin County. It happened near San Quentin Prison, and you can see the scene here and all the emergency responders. Crown Force Jackie Sissel is live on the scene. Uh, so set us up with the exact location here and what's going on right now, because we've been looking at the shot with the truck just sitting there for quite a while. Yeah, well, not too long. It's been here for about an hour and a half. This all started around 7 o'clock this morning. I'm basically right in front of the gun range, right near the back entrance to San Quentin State Prison. Uh, according to uh, CHP, who's handling this incident, this truck that was carrying two tanks of gasoline, inside those tanks were about 1,700 gallons of gas in each tank. He rolled over, and at that point, it turned it not only into uh, an issue of traffic and commute congestion, but also an environmental issue because the rear tank that was holding 1,700 gallons of gas ruptured and spilled gasoline onto the roadway. In fact, you can see right there, that's not water, that's gasoline. Now, below those uh, where you see that hill there are about 40 homes that have been evacuated. They call it San Quentin Village. So the people inside of those homes have been evacuated because the gasoline has gone down the hillside. Now you can see how much is out here right now. They're not sure whether or not the full 1,700 gallons has leaked out. What they're going to have to do, Daria, is they're going to have right, to pump George. out the remaining uh, gas of that front tank before they're able to upright this rig, and then the environmental cleanup begins. Obviously, it's going to take them a very long time. There are storm drains and drainage ditches around here that are have to be completely cleared out. This is going to be a very long process for them. Uh, Sir Francis Drake Boulevard will probably not be open for several hours, multiple hours as we go into this. Now, the good news is the driver of the truck was not injured in this accident, but obviously, as I said, it kind of turned it from a commute issue around here into an environmental issue. About 1,700 gallons of gasoline has spilled into the roadway. Daria? Yeah, I mean, that could take a long time to clean up. And have you yeah. seen the traffic backs up, you know, how it backs up and where? Have you been able to get a view of that or not really? Yeah, traffic on all the surface streets around the area are completely congested. Uh, this is uh, kind of in an area where a lot of people use to get from one uh, side of 101 over to 580 of the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. Anderson Drive is basically stopped. The exit from 101 to 580 is basically stopped. Uh, and I can also tell you that there is a very strong smell of gasoline out here. Oh, uh, as you can imagine, uh, as much gasoline has spilled out. Like I said, that's not water, that's gasoline that you see pooling there so they're urging people to be very careful that's why those evacuations they've shut off the power to all of those houses obviously they don't want anything to spark this gasoline at this point and I can also tell you that the county hazmat team has been called out to the scene this is gonna be a very long process Daria oh yeah oh yeah George was talking to me about this saying it could be all day long and George again as we look at this so over the truck if you were to be able to keep going that's where you'd find a Larkspur landing yes. highway 101 uh, uh, the ferry everything yes. is over you can't Get, you can't get there from here. Can't. In fact, no. that's what we're doing. Jackie's shot is looking westward, Daria, so it's exactly as you describe it, in that direction that we're pointing is where Larkspur Landing would be. And in fact, Larkspur Landing Circle is where the roadway has been shut down. Joining us now on the Cron 4 Newsline is Officer Andrew Barkley of the Marin Office of the California Highway Patrol. Uh, good morning, Officer Barkley. Can you give us any details about how this accident occurred what you've been able to learn so far good morning uh, we're still investigating at this time to find out exactly what happened in talking with the driver um, that investigation is going to be ongoing obviously our main concern to begin with was uh, containing this spill and ensuring that anybody in the area was removed so that they were safe and not in this area with all this gas and possible hazard right has there been any projection at all about what it's going to take to right these uh, tanks are you going to have to empty all of the fuel from them before they can be righted right now our best guess is that we're going to have to allow that rear tanker that has been punctured to completely drain before we can right it I don't know about the front one at this time we are still discussing that but I would imagine that uh, in Past instances, what we'll do is have another truck come out and we will transfer the contents from one trailer to another one. 
Well, at a minimum, of course, we're looking at several hours before this accident clears. Uh, in fact, I can see in our live shot right now that there is another uh, tanker truck that has just pulled onto the scene. But again, we're likely looking at several hours to clear. But would you say that the possibility exists that this might be out there until the evening commute? It is entirely possible at this time, not only for the, the draining and the riding of the truck, but then, as mentioned earlier, the, the cleaning up of this whole scene. That's a lot of gas that has leaked out. Fortunately, we were pretty quick in getting it dammed and getting everything shut down, so we were able to contain it. It, didn't, it doesn't appear that it got into any waterways or into any drains, so that's good news for us. However, we have to go through the soil and everything else to make sure that it's all cleaned up properly. All right, that's Officer uh, Andrew Barkley of the Marin Office of the California Highway Patrol. Thank you, uh, Officer Barkley, for taking time to join us here. A quick check now from the traffic maps as we review the location. So the incident here in front of San Quentin has shut it down. Sir Francis Drake Boulevard between 580 and Larkspur Landing, jamming up the westbound Richmond San Rafael Bridge, all of the surface streets around the area. So from San Rafael to Corte Madera, expect to find heavier than usual traffic.